last but not least for our Hackintosh build, um, the smallest package ends up being the most expensive part of the build. Here we have the Intel uh, SSD 320 series, 160 gigs. That'll be the, uh, the main drive for the apps and OS and things like that. Um, and we have the Intel uh, Core i7. Uh, I got a 2700K. Um, they're more expensive, but uh, there was a good deal on this as well. So you can certainly go for a 2600K um, and not see probably a big difference in performance. Uh, both can be uh, on, uh, can be overclocked. They're unlocked uh, processors. Anything with the K is an unlocked processor. So let's do the uh, CPU first. Let's get into that. Got undid the tape already. Not a heck of a lot to these packages. Instruction manual, of course, and uh, CPU fan comes with it. So uh, we'll probably not end up using this. We're going to use the uh, Corsair fan that we already uh, purchased. It's quite a bit bigger. As you can see, this is a relatively small um, heat sink and fan compared to the aftermarket. Although uh, it is quite effective, um, certainly at uh, base clock rates, this is more than adequate. Uh, but if you're doing overclocking, you probably want a, a bigger fan. Although people have been successfully overclocked using the the um, stock fan. And uh, here's the processor itself, tucked away in there. Not a heck of a lot to see there, um, but that's uh, quite a kick-ass uh, processor there. We should be able to, uh, you know, even with the defaults, we should be able to exceed um, the top of the line uh, iMac performance quite easily. And with overclocking, we'll probably approach uh, a Mac Pro performance with this. Let's have a look at the uh, SSD drive. Again, this is a 320 series. This is not the latest. The 510 is the latest series, but this should be more than fast enough. Um, It's amazing how tight these packages are in the uh, in the sleeve. There we go. Not a heck of a lot to them. There's the SSD there in the uh, in the anti-static bag. It's fairly light. Um, there's not a heck of a lot to them. Sticker, uh, instruction manuals, um, some software on a mini disc. And uh, it does uh, this particular package does come with SATA cables, uh, Molex to SATA connector, and a three and a half inch uh, drive bay uh, converter, which is very handy because if you have an SSD without one, you'd have to buy one extra, and they're usually a few dollars. So it's nice to have it in the package. And there you go. There's the processor and SSD for the Hackintosh build. <laughs>